Hi, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna understand about jobs. Right? We have understood about uh, contacts. We have understood about um, triggers, and now this is the time to understand about jobs. Jobs are pretty simple, and I may not take a lot of time in this video. Uh, they are pretty simple and easy to understand. The whole idea of of having jobs is just a building blocks for your workflow. So a workflow is basically made up of one or multiple jobs. And by default, these jobs will run in parallel. And each job has the liberty to run it on different posts. And each jobs can have one or more multiple steps, right? It's as simple as that. So, so imagine uh, the building blocks like this. So you have a very big workflow. Workflow is composed of jobs. Your, your jobs are composed of multiple steps. That's it. And now you have the liberty to run your different jobs in different posts as well as in parallel. That's that's how easy it is. And that's what we're going to see. So let's not waste a lot of time. Let's, let's just switch to the context for YAML here. And if you notice, I have a jobs section and I have defined so many jobs like one, two, three, and four jobs here, right? So I have four jobs. Um, and the first job here is context demo. This is the name of the job as simple as that. And the time of minutes here indicates what is the maximum time that can be given to a job. So if it exceeds, if a job exceeds this maximum time, it will be automatically canceled. This would be really helpful, let's say if there is a service that uh, that sometimes uh, due to some problem, it keeps on running and never shuts down and occupies your whole host. You don't want to do that. And in those cases, uh, this might really come handy. I'll, I'll speak about continue on error in a few minutes, but let's speak about the container in in a job it's not just we have the liberty to to run it on particular ways but we also have an option to also spin up few containers if you want for example let's say i have uh i want to run my automated test and this automated test needs to be run on selenium standalone chrome uh instead of I, the Chrome machine, Chrome that is coming in the Ubuntu latest machine itself. So we, we normally do that, right? And uh, you don't have to really uh, download Docker using code or, or using some steps. Uh, Docker will be by default installed in this machine. So all you just need to do is define a section called as container and give the image name. Once you give the image name, you also have the control where you define the ports for this. You can define volumes for this. Uh, there are other things that you can pass as well like options uh, for for docker like additional options what is the name that you want to give to the container and all stuff like that so so it's as simple so container is basically used to spin up a container based upon the image name that we provided right this will be really helpful if you want to test something in in, in containers so again you have the freedom to run your job on different ubuntu uh, post for example this you can run it on ubuntu the another job you can basically uh, run it on Windows uh, latest. So it, it gives you the option. The intelligent ID is smart. It, it gives you the option like where you want to run this whole thing, right? So you can also do that. And now, <clears throat> so uh, let's come back to the continue one error. So this will be really handy. Let's say uh, this context demo uh, two job is depending upon context demo. So until this gets completed, it will wait, okay? If you don't give this, these two jobs will run in parallel. So, but I want to wait until the context demo completes and then I want to include this. This is what it is. But let's see the job three. This job three will run always. Whatever may be the result of the, the context demo, it will run always. But let's see the job four. It also depends on context demo but it only run if there is a failure in the context demo. Let's say you have to do some cleanup operation, which is not really needed if, if it is if the first job is successful. And you only want to run this job in case of uh, certain, certain failures, right? You can also define additional conditions if you want. Like you can say uh, uh, if, if the GitHub, uh, you can use context here. That's why the context comes in uh, handy. Uh, GitHub dot actual uh, is equal to um, you can you can you can basically uh, do all that uh, if evaluations here. 
Okay, so this is this failure. Uh, your job will be marked as a failure. Uh, only continue on error is is false. Okay, by default is false. If you if you mention this as true, then it even though this job fails, it 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 still uh, marks this job as a success step. So this won't get executed. So that's how you can basically control your even though your job fails, you want to still run other jobs uh, irrespective of conditions like this, then you can use parameters like this, okay? Well, when you have parameter, continue on error set to true, even though this job fails, it will mark this job as false. That's that's how simple it is, right? That's all about jobs. Maybe uh, we will have a very small uh, run in our, in our actions workspace. So this is the same job. Just that uh, instead of having the Selenium image, I just have Alpine just to save some time. Let's go to the Actions tab and let's go to the Context demo and let's trigger a workflow. So let's, let me trigger this workflow. So if I open this, see this is very clear now. So we are waiting for the Context demo to start are complete once this is complete these three jobs will run in parallel so this will be really handy guys they're running in parallel right? let's say in automation you want to run your web mobile and automated uh, api test you can run all of them in parallel instead of you know doing multi uh running them in parallel so you can save a lot of time and this is very easy to set up right by default it runs in parallel and if you notice the job four didn't even run because this check was skipped because the context demo is a pass and this will only run if there is a failure, right? If it's only a failure, then it will run. Otherwise, it will not run. So this job three, it will run always, right? Even if it is a success or failure, we, will, we want to run this always. So, so that's that's how easy it is. Jobs are pretty important thing. Like your, your workflow is comprised of jobs. Each job can run in parallel. Um, you can define if there is a difference in relation between different jobs. You can run different jobs in different runners. You can run containers along with the jobs. Uh, and also uh, jobs as one or more multiple steps. So that's how about jobs. I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, bye-bye.